From Miami Vice boat races to a secret car from Vice City, did you know that this guy is a real person turned into a GTA character? Today, y'all, we have 12 Easter eggs in Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, I actually had something cool happen. Ned Luke gave me a shout out on his live stream. GTA 6 trailer uh, breakdown. Secrets and more. So Zach Cox TV already has secrets. How cool was that? Now, when y'all learn something new from this video, I hope that I can earn your thumbs up and your subscription. I'll wait. Thank y'all so much, and let's get started. Did you know that this scene from the GTA 6 trailer of these speedboats racing in the Vice City port next to this cargo ship was taken directly from and inspired by the 2006 movie Miami Vice? What a super cool reference and easter egg here because in the opening cutscene to this movie we see the same scene happening frame by frame. Speedboats racing next to a cargo ship in the port of Miami. The lighthouse from Grand Theft Auto 5 can be found in GTA 6. This actually comes from the 2022 GTA 6 leaks at Hank's Waffles Diner. Next to the cash register, we can see on a wall is a framed image of the lighthouse from Grand Theft Auto 5. In the final cutscene of the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer where Jason and Lucia are robbing Uncle Jack's liquor store, we can see on the door there is a sticker that says Petty Forever. And if you don't know what that means, well, let me jog your brain here. The GTA 6 official trailer theme is Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty. And the album for this song was called Full Moon Fever and the album cover art is actually the same colors as this sticker. So this is a direct reference to Tom Petty whose voice is the likeness of the official Grand Theft Auto 6 theme. What a great Easter egg and tribute to the late great Tom Petty. Now you best believe we're going to have some GTA Vice City easter eggs in GTA 6. So far we only have one because we only have 1 minute and 30 seconds of GTA 6 and this is the Oceanic Car. This can be seen on Ocean Drive in front of the Ocean View Hotel in GTA Vice City. It's that beautiful yellow car. Well in Grand Theft Auto 6 the car can be seen on Ocean Drive outside of the Ocean View Hotel once again. You can see it way back there in the background and get a glimpse of this beautiful yellow classic. Now, fun fact, this car also appears in real life outside of the Avalon Hotel on Ocean Drive in real life Miami. And believe it or not, this is not the first time Rockstar Games has had an Easter egg like this in their games. Back in Grand Theft Auto 5, in the story mode, there is a specific location and spawn point for a Trufade Adder that will be there every time. And once again, this is in single player. Now in real life, there is a Bugatti Veyron at the spot that the in-game location is inspired by. Super cool to check out, and once again, super neat to see Rockstar Games repeating a similar style Easter egg. Holy cow, this guy is real. So in the GTA 6 trailer, we see this very interesting looking character who is face tatted all the way up with the Vice City seal in the background. And believe it or not, this guy is real. Rockstar turned a real life criminal into a GTA character. This guy is known as the Florida Joker. And back in 2017 and 2018, he was arrested for some minor crimes, but what made him so interesting and gained so much attention was his face tattoos and his intimidating appearance. So, and his real life court video was even inspired by his appearance in GTA 6. You can see the same badge with the state of Florida seal in the background so I guess all it takes to become a Grand Theft Auto 6 character is to be a criminal with some tattoos this next lady is also another person turned GTA character this is a Karen who destroyed her neighbor's vehicles with hammers and this lady is out of Los Angeles California but once again this is just a lady who went nuts destroyed some things and now has forever become a GTA character how embarrassing yet interesting and the final real person turned GTA character that we have here today is the Naked Gardener who is inspired by a real life Florida man who has ticked off his whole neighborhood because he enjoys gardening without any clothes on in complete nudity. 
I think this guy caught everybody's attention in the GTA 6 trailer just because of his appearance. I gotta say, this man is living large. He is more free than all of us, and this is true happiness right here. But I bet you he never expected to become a GTA 6 character just for enjoying watering his plants. While mental health is nothing to joke about, laughter is the best medicine, and Rockstar has done it once again with a billboard in GTA 6 for Angstapan. It cures emotions, a depression medication based on an in-game parody of the real-life Pfizer brand by the name of Fix. And this is America's favorite disassociative. Now, at the bottom of this billboard, there are small letters that say, Call your doctor if your erection lasts more than four hours. Results may vary. And this Easter egg is delivered in classic Rockstar Games fashion with just something totally off the wall that you would never expect to see. Now, this next Easter egg is a reference to some of our favorite previous Grand Theft Auto cities and locations. Inside the nightclub scene, we see a gentleman wearing a t-shirt, and on the back of that t-shirt, it reads, Liberty City, Alderney City, San Fierro, Las Venturas, and what I presume to be Vice City listed on this t-shirt here. We also see the return of the iconic blue Banshee, a vehicle that's been in every single Grand Theft Auto since GTA 3. The iconic blue color with that white stripe on the hood. A very beautiful ride that we have seen in every Grand Theft Auto, as well as this car is so iconic that about 12 years ago, Rockstar Games teamed up with the real life Los Angeles Customs to create this car in real life and give it away to a GTA fan, which they did. So this car also exists in real life. And it's here to make another return in the Grand Theft Auto series with GTA 6. Heading down to the Florida Keys, we can see Seven Mile Bridge as well as Old Seven Mile Bridge, which is now turned into a stunt jump, giving us our first look at GTA 6's first ever stunt jump and ramp. This is gonna be an amazing spot for some stunt bonuses with an ode to the classic Grand Theft Auto games. Also in the Florida Keys, we can see Fat Albert. That's that blimp way off in the background. And believe it or not, this is a real life blimp placed in the Florida Keys over 33 years ago by the US Army as part of a low level surveillance system. You best believe if I can hijack that thing or pop it, I'm either gonna do one of the two. And lastly, we have the very first ever GTA 6 Easter egg that came to us in 2021 with the release of GTA San Andreas, the definitive edition, where inside the Lil Probe Inn, on a wall filled with images of flying saucers, we see an image that was never in the original San Andreas. And this is a Florida house with a UFO above it. And it turns out that this house is actually a Florida home, which we now know to be the home of GTA 6. And we knew this back then by comparing it to a real life Florida home, as well as in the 2022 GTA 6 leaks, strings of code confirm that UFOs and flying saucers will be making a return to Grand Theft Auto 6. Those are just 12 of the many Easter eggs to come to Grand Theft Auto 6. My bet is that there are going to be thousands more than any other Grand Theft Auto game and Red Dead Redemption 2 combined. If y'all enjoyed the video and learned something new, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe. I love you all, and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Have a blessed day.